welcome back to my channel. Um, I have not uploaded a video in a while and I'm just going to be flat out honest with you and tell you why. Um, so basically I was not feeling good at all for a while. I was struggling with the nausea and the just feeling sick a lot of the time um, and that has finally subsided so that's awesome. But then I started school. As you all know, I'm going to school to be a teacher. And um, I started my four year college, which I only had to be there for two years, but it was just way too much. And I'll talk more about that probably in the next vlog. But today I kind of wanted to do a pregnancy update for you because it has been a while since I've done one and I'm starting to get a little bump here. I'm starting to see that baby is in there and baby's growing. So that's awesome. So yeah, I am, let's check my app real quick. I'm going to have my phone here just in case I have any, you know, anything I need to remember because pregnancy brain is a real thing. <laughs> okay, so today I am 12 weeks in five days. I am almost 13 weeks. I cannot believe how fast this pregnancy is going. I remember my second pregnancy going really, really fast, but this one seems like it is just flying by, which is crazy. Baby is the size of a key lime, it says, which is awesome. Baby is about a half ounce, and um, they're developing really, really fast. So first, I will just kind of tell you about baby and how the baby's progressing. So it says the heart is beating after week six. Your doctor may notice a flicker of heart movement uh, by week 12 or 13. The sound of the baby's heartbeat beating at approximately 150 times per minute can often be heard with the use of a Doppler. So I had my first actual OB appointment last week and she was able to hear the heartbeat. It was 163 beats per minute, I think is what it was, which is a little bit fast, but um, there was nothing that they were worried about or anything. But I remember both Paisley and Weston when I was pregnant with them, it was always in the 150s. So I know some people say that you can figure out the gender with how high or low the heartbeat is, but my babies were both in the like 150, so I don't know. I have been having some cravings. I don't really crave anything sweet at all. I just kind of want like savory things, but not meat, if that makes sense. Like I want more so like salty, salty savory things. So I like, I want olives, I want pickles, I want deep fried pickles, things that are not healthy, I'm craving, um, but I'm also craving fruit, which I craved the savory, salty things with my son Weston, and I craved a lot of fruit with my daughter Paisley. So it's still like the, the weight on what gender it is is going like this, and it's not really evening out, or you know, one's not higher than the other. But yeah, if you, if this is your first time on our channel, I am not finding out the gender of our baby and neither is my husband. I think we're going to wait until we have the baby and then we're going to find out the gender, which I am super, super excited about. Um, I never thought I would wait, but I feel like it's, it's just going to be fun and exciting for us because we did save everything from Weston's pregnancy and I saved everything from Paisley's or not pregnancy, but like, you know, baby clothes and everything like that. So we have everything that we need for the baby. So other than the symptoms of feeling nausea, nauseous and the cravings that I've been having, nothing really is that different with this week or the past few weeks. Um, I have gained a little bit more energy, which has been incredible. I was struggling for a bit there with the energy. I don't think I ever remember being that tired in my pregnancy with either of my children from my past pregnancies, but I was just feeling really, really exhausted and fatigued and like I would go lay down for bed at like 6 30 7 o'clock at night which is not like me and it's really hard with Ryan's work schedule because he plows for um the winter time and we've been getting a lot of snow so that means that he is off working through the night kind of plowing keeping the roads clear so when that happens I'm basically home alone with both kids so I can't go to bed until they go to bed. Their bedtime's usually about 7.30, 8 o'clock, but I remember just like struggling and just laying on the couch and being like, come on kids, let's just lay down and watch a movie. <laughs> so yeah, 
weight for the pregnancy. I haven't gained anything yet. Um, I've stayed the same. I'm not, I don't really feel comfortable sharing my actual weight because I would like it to be a little lower, but yes, I haven't gained anything yet. The doctor is happy about that because with my pregnancy with my son, I gained a lot and I gained very fast. Um, I swelled up a lot in that pregnancy. And my daughter, I gained a little bit more than you were supposed to, but I did lose a lot of it afterwards. So I'm really not that af like scared of the weight gain or anything like that. Um, I know that if I just try to eat good and eat healthy foods that are high in proteins that keep me full a long time, I'll be fine. Okay, so I really don't think there's much more to talk about. In my pregnancy, I did get, get prescribed a heartburn medication just because I do suffer from heartburn in my pregnancies. Um, I've been taking my prenatal and I've been feeling pretty good. So I'm going to look on the app just to kind of make sure I didn't forget anything. I use the Sprout app and the Bump app. So we'll just go off the Bump app right now. According to Bump app, baby is as big as a plum. Baby is about 2.9 inches or 2.09 inches long and 0.49 ounces. Most of baby's critical systems are fully formed. Baby's about to enter the growth in, in which organs and tissues will grow and develop rapidly. Baby's now developing reflexes. If you poke his or her body, you'll likely see movement, which that's one thing that has kind of concerned me just a little bit because um, I haven't felt any movement yet. And I remember feeling it with my son at 12 weeks and with my daughter at 11 weeks. So now that I'm almost 13 weeks and haven't felt a movement, it makes me a little nervous. I guess we'll just wait and see. Okay, so baby's opening and closing fingers and curling toes too, which is adorable. Baby's brain is developing fast. The average fetus at 12 weeks is what I already told you, 2.1 inches long and 0.49 ounces. Now that baby's got pretty much all of his or her parts, baby's main job is to keep growing. Things are changing fast. You're reaching the home stretch of the first trimester. 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 Thank the Lord. At 12 weeks, which means your hormones are likely to tone things down a bit, which might make you feel a little less emotional, which let me just rewind to yesterday. Um, yesterday is the day that I decided that I was going to withdraw from my school. Like I said, I'm going to talk about that more so in a vlog. I needed to focus on myself and my health before I dove into something that I would not be able to succeed in. So I'm focusing on myself, my children. Yeah, that's the plan. So yesterday I was pretty emotional. The day before I was emotional, the day my first day of college, and I'm feeling much better with my situation now. So I'm a lot happier. <laughs> One morning though, your morning sickness and fatigue might get replaced by headaches and dizziness. Yes, okay, pause. <laughs> I have been suffering from severe headaches. Um, I have never had bad headaches in pregnancy and my headaches have been horrible. It seems like it's every few days they come on and I have to take Excedrin Tension. That's the only Excedrin you can take while pregnant because it doesn't have the aspirin in it. And that has seemed to help a little bit, but then when it wears off, it's like, okay, my headache's back. And I, I am the type of person that does not like to take a lot of medicine. So I just don't feel comfortable taking a lot of medicines. So that's a bummer. I'm hoping that they subside and they go away, but we will see. The other big change, baby's almost done developing his or her body's important systems and parts, which means it is most likely getting bigger and more mature from here on out. Around week 12, you might be able to, or you might want to know more about the baby. So you're probably having genetic testing done to determine um, the risk of birth defects and other problems. In my past pregnancies, I never got the genetic testing done. I think it all depends on the parent and what they feel they want to do and it's your decision. And Ryan and I both feel it's not a necessary thing to do. We know that uh, if there is something wrong with our baby and it does have some you know, genetic disorder or something like that, we will love that baby and we will do whatever we have to do to make that baby okay. And um, yeah, that's just our opinion on it. Other people have others, other opinions and some people like to just know ahead of time, but we're prepared for anything to happen. So we're gonna move on to my body at 12 weeks. So I'm almost 13 weeks. I'm at the end of the 12 weeks. I really like to talk about the week that I, I've just, you know, finished. So 
It says your hormones should calm down a bit, which they have. I hope I should be asking my husband. <laughs> um, this means less nausea and fatigue, more discharge to protect your vagina from infection, a noticeably bigger belly, with, and it says do you look pregnant now? I'm gonna show you at the very end my belly bump. Headaches and dizziness may start, which we've already talked about. Just make sure, you know, your blood sugar isn't dropping and you're not dehydrated or, you know, stressed out, things like that. So, yeah, really there's not much to talk about other than what I already have. Next, I want to show you just a little bit of a haul because we have gotten a few things for baby and I kind of want to show them off because we're so excited. So, the room that we are in, this is going to be the baby's nursery. We're going to get rid of my desk and um, just put that in storage and we're going to get this ready for the baby here soon so that's super exciting we're going to be transitioning paisley into her toddler bed very soon so i want to show you a couple things that i got for the baby first off i got some baby bibs off of amazon um it's like a huge pack of them there is this one here and it looks like little hot air balloons super cute this one looks a little more girly but that's all right they go through bibs like crazy um and we don't know our gender so we'll see these one, this one has little chicks and I think that is so adorable. Here's this one, it's little puppies. Little puppies for the heart. And then we've got, ooh, we've got this one here and this is what it looks like with the buttons closed. I'm gonna end up dropping it. They look like little pencils. I think that's so cute because I'm a teacher so it's like little colored pencils. Or I'm going to school to be a teacher, I'm not a teacher yet. <laughs> Here's this one, it just says love, and it's got like hot air balloon, a little like suitcase, super cute, because we are going to be camping after having the baby, so that's exciting. There's this one here, it's kind of hard to show. This one, which I think is probably my favorite, it's little vegetables and fruits and stuff, I think it's so adorable. And the inside is like, the underside is super, super smooth, so. The outside is a little bit scratchier, so if food gets on it and stuff, it's probably, you know, it'll be okay. And then there's this one, which is totally neutral as well. So these are, um, I got these off Amazon, and they are the Balt, Balt Wonder Baby Bandana Bibs. The box looks like this. It's super cute packaging. So I got these. And then, because winter is coming to an end, or at least in stores it is, let me open this up. I haven't even opened it up yet. We got these for the baby. And I know baby is going to be born in August. But babies are still cold. And this will fit the baby for, you know, a bit. Maybe in the fall. So, I got these from Target. It comes in a box, which looks like this. It's just the Island Cloud brand or Cloud Island brand. Um, I got these on clearance. 50% off. So, I got them for $7.50, which I thought was an awesome deal. So it looks like this and they're like, it's like a little knit hat and it comes with little knit booties and I think it comes with some bloomers behind, yeah, it comes with some bloomers behind the hat as well. And it's gray so it's nice and neutral, which that's kind of what we're going for. If we buy things for the baby, that's what we're going for, but we also do have some stuff, you know, put aside from both babies. Next, I got these blankets. They were on clearance at Target and I love the muslin blankets. I use them, or muslin, muslin, whatever, however you pronounce it. I use them for um, Paisley. I did not use them for Weston because I don't even think they were like a thing yet. Um, but they're these, they're from the Cloud Island brand. They're definitely gender neutral. And there's three different blankets there. And these are awesome because you can use them as a birth cloth, you can use it as a stroller cover, a receiving blanket, swaddling. A nursing cover which I don't plan on nursing um, that might change I'm not sure yet but the best thing about this is if the baby puts it over his head his or her head it's breathable so it's a very breathable material they're not going to suffocate themselves with them like a fuzzy blanket would so I got these and then to go with these they actually match I got this it's just totally gender neutral crib fitted sheet because you can never have enough fitted sheets by the amount of times that they like have blowouts and pee through their diapers and stuff. These were only four bucks from $10 and they're just this pattern. It matches the blankets that I just showed you. 
So I got those. And then the last thing that we have for baby is some more blankets. Um, this was a four pack. I got it for 20 bucks and um, it was in the clearance section. So they just look like this. They have little stars and moons and all that cute stuff. So yeah, that is what we have for the baby so far. Um, if you like this update and this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the post notification bell down below. If that will notify you whenever we do upload a video, which you can plan on that being a lot more now. So I'm going to show you my bump and then I'm gonna hop off here. Okay, so this is what my bump looks like. So I definitely am looking more pregnant. Um, this is a maternity shirt from Motherhood Maternity. I'll show you from both sides and then I'll pull up just so you can see I have a tank top on. So this is just the regular cotton tank top. I like to wear them under my shirts. And then I am wearing some maternity pants. See, that's the band there. So here is the bump. I feel like this is the best angle to really show you that it is popping out. I do have a hernia right up here in my belly button. Uh, my belly button's below it and then right above it, there's a ball and that was from when I was pregnant with Paisley. So yeah, there is my 12, almost 13 week baby bump.